What is the easiest way to find coaching clients? It's gonna be different for different coaches. I really like uh, interviewing your existing clients and your favorite existing clients and finding out where they found you or how they found you. They find you through a social media platform, they find you through an ad, they find you through a referral. And if you, you interview enough of your existing clients and figure out how they came to you and then double down on that. Um, and then if you don't have any clients or enough clients to interview to find out that information is uh, start finding the person you want to serve, your ideal client, and and go out there and do some research. And, and you know, that's just a general, like, go do some research, but go out, find those people, see where they're hanging out physically, see where they're hanging out online, and start engaging in conversations there. You know, on LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, these places all have groups, interest groups, uh, meetups, like meetup.com. I mean, just go wherever they are at. So if you're, whatever you're coaching in, there's gonna be some type of interest group you can join and start doing the research. You can be in someone else's group uh, and figure out what their habits are and meet them there. Um, for me, is really understanding who your client is uh, and niching down as much as possible. Uh, early on, uh, coaches struggle with this. So something that's uh, really easy to do is look at your own life and the, the, the stages or journeys that you've taken on. Uh, for example, in my lifetime, I've owned a gym, I've gone online as a coach, I played college football, I, uh, so I, those are all a few different areas where I can coach people in because I've been through that journey. So starting there uh, is a really good place. What tends to happen though, uh, as you're, you're gonna see that experience completely different and talk about it completely different than when you were in it. So once you're able to pinpoint a journey that you've been in your life, is go find those people again and, and see how they talk about their problem, see how they're viewing their situation because the experiences may be the same or, or very similar, uh, the way they communicate it uh, may be a bit different. So meeting your client where, where, where they're at um, is super important uh, in regards to that. Um, another way to do it, and, and this is one of the simplest uh, uh, ways that for coaches starting early on, uh, you know, we, I, I like to use the, uh, a, very, a very bad conversion rate for, it, for, for early on. So, you know, just encourage the coach to do uh, a little bit extra work and get really good results from it. It's a 50% conversion rule. So say for example, you're looking to gain 10 clients. Uh, so that means that you have to get 10 people on the phone uh, to make them an offer for your services. So to get 10 people on the phone, that means you gotta talk to 20 people to even invite them for a phone call. So if you're talking to 20 people to invite them for a phone call, you just have to engage 40 people in general. And, and, and so it could be very simple like that. So if you're looking to get five new clients, go talk to 40 people. Um, and that's online, uh, send them a DM, in person, use your own network. And, and, and that's a good place to, to, to get started. Um, as, as the evolution of your coaching business uh, continues, uh, something that we've talked about and we talk a, a lot about is referrals. Going back to those referrals, uh, that's gonna be your next step. What you really wanna focus in is getting one or two clients. If you get one or two clients and understand uh, how to carry them through exercise of interviewing them and really understanding where your client's coming from, that's gonna give you a lot of ammunition that you're gonna be able to use and support yourself in marketing. Uh, and, and to be able to speak and relate to your clients, uh, essentially is empathy, is, is being able to, uh, to step into where your client's at, know what's the next step you need to take, and then understand even maybe what are the next steps after that, uh, and developing processes and systems to get them the results that they want.